In this example, I'd like to show you some common problems that you might run into working with Python, especially if you're new to Python. So let's take something like print hello world. And this is just a real common thing. If we go and run it, we get our hello world, just as you would expect. So what could go wrong with something as simple as this? Well, one thing to keep in mind is that Python is very particular about leading spaces. A leading space is a space in front of the lines of code. And simply putting one little space in front of this line of code, which, to be honest, if you look at it, it's hard to see, you'll have an error. Now, Luckily, if you're using something like Visual Studio Code, like I am here in this example, it's going to give you a little warning. And you'll see this little squiggly mark. If you put your mouse cursor over it, it'll tell you that there's invalid syntax. And it doesn't really tell you what to do with it, though. If we go and try to run this, it will give you a little bit more information. Specifically, it's going to say there's an indentation error, unexpected indent. And a very common thing is going to be having a leading space on a line of code. Or if when you're supposed to be using spaces in the future, maybe you have spaces in some places and tabs in another. So having those two being combined will cause an issue as well. The easy fix, of course, is to come in here, remove that space now that we see it. Another problem. Another common problem that people have, especially when they first start programming, is to forget to close their quotes and parentheses. So quotes and parentheses, uh, whether it's a single quote or a double quote, need to occur in pairs. Here I have hello world in my quotes, but if I remove it, notice that the whole thing becomes an error. Visual Studio Code in this example, and if you have another ID, we'll let you know as well, that if you run over this, it's going to give you what's known as an EOL error. EOL is short for end of line, and it's just saying that we expect there to be something before we got to the end of the line. We don't have our closing quote. So this is a pretty common thing. It's easy to kind of maybe fat finger it, or the idea being that you didn't type it correctly. This is a common thing, and how to see this error. Now, if you're using someone Notepad or Notepad++, it doesn't do any of these error checks for you in the source code. You have to wait till it runs. If you wait till it runs, you're going to notice that you get a syntax error, EOL, while scanning string literal. And that's the same basic thing. It's just saying that we got to the end of the line and we didn't see something we were expecting. So always check for something like enough quotes and a closing parenthesis. Now, if you talk to an experienced programmer, you'll find that they've made these mistakes themselves many times. In fact, by making them so many times, they get really good at fixing them. And they can fix them a lot of times before someone even knows there's a problem. I'll give you a perfect example. I had this happen to myself just a couple of days ago. I had written a piece of code where there were some nested parentheses. And I closed one, but forgot to close the second one. It came up as an error. I saw it. I was able to quickly find it. So these are errors that are not uncommon, but they get solved very quickly. Now let me show you the third type of common error that you'll see, and once again, how to fix it. And it's a pretty simple one, and it happens if we start typing real quickly, and that is we forget to spell something out completely. So maybe I have my print command that's now showing print instead of print. So this is a pretty common thing that can happen. Way I'm going to notice is I'm going to look and see that my color coding is not correct. And using an editor like Visual Studio Code or Notepad++ even is really nice because they color code those keywords and built-in functions for you. So being able to take a look at this and visually see is going to be a huge help. Of course, an IDE like this one Notice that it underlines the error for me, and it comes up and it says, this is an undefined variable, and you go, well, wait a second, I'm not using a variable. It will help you to know to click in print. 
The other tool that a lot of experienced developers are going to use is the look ahead typing feature. So if I start to type print, notice it comes up with a list of all the words in Python. There are keywords that let me use this. I'll see that print be is right in the top, both because of alphabetical reasons, as well as because it's a commonly used word. I can hit tab and it will automatically finish writing it for me. That makes me a little bit faster and more efficient in my typing. It also reduces the chances of me having a spelling error, either because I typed two letters in reverse, or I forgot to type a letter because I was trying to rush to finish off this line of code. So those are some common errors that you might run into, especially as a Python programmer, and how to solve them very quickly.